multiplication of decimals and mixed decimals. Multiplication with decimals is the same as the process of multiplication with whole numbers. The only difference is that at the end, we count the number of decimal places that are represented in the factors and move to the left the same number of decimal places in the product. In example 3 and 82 hundredths times 35 hundredths, the two given decimals are called factors. The answer to this is called product. Just a reminder, having your multiplication facts memorized will help you do the problems faster and more accurately. Question 1. What is the product of 65 hundredths times 34 hundredths? When multiplying decimals, write the decimals vertically. Then multiply decimals just like whole numbers. Beginning from right to left, multiply the bottom decimals or multiplier by the top decimals or multiplicand. So 4 times 5 equals 20. But since the answer is more than 10, regroup 2 to the next higher place and retain 0. Next is 4 times 6 plus 2 equals 26. But since the answer is more than 10, regroup 2 to the next higher place and retain 6. And then, 4 times 0 plus 2 equals 2. Moving to the next digit 3 in multiplier, so 3 times 5 equals 15. Since the answer is more than 10, regroup 1 to the next higher place and retain 5. Make sure to start placing the answer in line with the second digit, which is under 6. Then 3 times 6 plus 1 equals 19. Since the answer is more than 10, regroup 1 to the next higher place and retain 9. And then, 3 times 0 plus 1 equals 1. And for the last digit 0 in multiplier, 0 times 5 equals 0. 0 times 6 equals 0. And 0 times 0 equals 0. After this, add the decimals from right to left. Starting with the rightmost column, bring down the 0. Next is 6 plus 5 equals 11. But since the answer is more than 10, regroup 1 to the next higher place and retain the other 1. Next is 1 plus 2 plus 9 plus 0 equals 12. Since the answer is more than 10, regroup 1 to the next place and retain 2 below. Then 1 plus 1 plus 0 equals 2, and bring down the 0. Finally, count the decimal place in the first factor, and that is in 65 hundredths, which has two decimal places. Count also the decimal place in the second factor, and that is 34 hundredths, which has also two decimal places. So the factors have a total of four decimal places. Lastly, count four decimal places in the product as with the number of decimal place in factors and place the decimal point. So the final answer is 2,210 ten thousands. Question two. How many is 5 and 43 hundredths by 8 and 6 tenths? When multiplying decimals, write the decimals vertically. Then multiply mixed decimals just like whole numbers. Beginning from right to left, multiply the bottom decimal or multiplier by the top decimal or multiplicand. So 6 times 3 equals 18. 
But since 18 is more than 10, we group 1 to the next higher place and retain 8 below. And then 6 times 4 plus 1 equals 25. Since the answer is more than 10, we group 2 to the next higher place and retain 5. Then 6 times 5 plus 2 equals 32. Moving to the next digit 8 in multiplier, 8 times 3 equals 24. But since the answer is more than 10, regroup 2 to the next higher place and retain 4 below. Make sure to start placing the answer in line with the second digit from the right. Then 8 times 4 plus 2 equals 34. Since the answer is more than 10, regroup 3 to the next higher place and retain 4 below. Finally, 8 times 5 plus 3 equals 43. After this, add the numbers from right to left. Starting with the rightmost column, bring down 8. Next is 5 plus 4 equals 9. Then 2 plus 4 equals 6. 3 plus 3 equals 6. And bring down 4. After this, count the decimal place in the first factor. In 5 and 43 hundredths, there are two decimal places. And that is 43 hundredths. And in 8 and 6 tenths, there is only one decimal place, and that is six tenths. So there are three decimal places in factors. Lastly, count three decimal places in the product, just like the number of decimal places in factors. Then put the decimal point. So the final answer is 46 and 698 thousandths. When multiplying decimals, write the decimals vertically. Multiply the decimals just like whole numbers. Count the number of decimal place in factors. Beginning from right to left, count the decimal place in product as many times as the decimal place in factors. Then put the decimal point.